So in this video, we will be installing PostgreSQL and will be setting up PG Admin to connect with PostgreSQL. So starting with first, launch our Linux distribution from the start menu. Search for Ubuntu and press enter. Let's update our package list first using sudo apt update command. Now let's install PostgreSQL using command sudo apt install PostgreSQL and PostgreSQL contrib. Now let's check the location of Postgres config file using command sudo hyphen u postgres psql hyphen c so config file. Let's copy the path of the PostgreSQL configuration file and let's open it with sudo privileges. Now let's uncomment the line to allow all connection to be set up from localhost. Press escape and I to insert. Remove the hash to uncomment this line and save it by clicking escape colon and wq. Now let's restart the Postgres service using command sudo systemctl restart Postgres SQL. Now open the web browser and search for download pg admin and open the first link. Go to the download section and click on windows. Now click on pg admin 4 version 8.6 to download the latest version and finally click on .ext installer. To start the download, now open your downloads folder and double click on the installer. Click on install for me only. Click on next, accept the agreement and let it install at the default path and click on install. Click on no because we don't want to install Microsoft Visual C++ 2017 version. And finally click on finish. Open the start menu by clicking windows key and search for PG admin. In PG admin right click on server in the left navigation pane and click on register and click on server. Give the server a name. And go to the connection tab and enter the following details. Here provide the host name or address which will be localhost. Let the username and database be default which will be postgres here default password for the postgres user is also postgres so type postgres in the password and click on save so your connection to the postgres server is successful so now you should have postgres sql and pg admin setup and connected in your system let me know if you have any questions or you run into any of the issues